Welcome, Chase. Chris and Amanda's backyard hunting adventures. Tell us how to prepare. Yeah, seven yards off. How do you prepare to hunt from the backyard? What is the what do you need to make this a successful hunt? First, you have to check around, make sure nobody can see what you're doing because there's a lot of these PETA people that will get offended by me shooting random animals in the backyard. Can this go on YouTube? Sure. <laughs> what do you need for backyard? Like, well, take me step by step before a bird lands on um, how you would backyard. I mean, first you start in a lawn chair, obviously, yeah, but after that. Kind of, you know, past few days I've seen a lot of birds landing on the roof. And so what would you do? Would you? How would you scope the scene here? I would just scope the rooftop. Okay. So you go like to sit on rooftop. Well, we got several houses here in distance. And the dogs to scope. The dogs to scope. I really any kind of bird. I don't. No, I don't discriminate on the birds. What kind of birds have you seen in Calera, Alabama? Um, some martins, some doves, some mockingbirds, robins, garden birds. What kind of gun? Tell us about this gun that that is used and, uh, for backyard hunting. I got this little pellet gun here. <laughs> Would you get Walmart. that at Kmart, Walmart, or? It's a daisy. For some reason, the skirt's gone off of it, but I'm going to have to get me another to make these long range shots. The last one only missed, uh, I'd say about two inches, three inches, and shot below it. I didn't have it held up quite enough with iron sights. That ain't too bad. Do you need a scope for 67 yards? Not really. Uh, the next one that lands, I'm probably going to nail it. But the first shot that you shot was, you shot at it and, and realized it was 18 I inch where difference. So you could do it with the naked eye. So I figured about a 12-inch drop from 60 yards on the pellet, and in all reality, it was about a 15 to 18-inch drop. And I hit the roof. How do you um, how do you shoot the bird? I mean, do you shoot from the lawn chair or? No, I have to get on the floor. How do you? Could you explain to us like the uh, thing, I'll like? Explain to you as soon as the bird lands. I can you can see me in action getting down in the prone position. Does it just hit you? Like if you see a bird you know where to get? I mean like you just feel it and well, then get... That's your most steady stance in a shooter. In the prone position. And that's on your belly? It's yeah, on your belly. Okay. So, in just a few minutes, hopefully one will land and you can get a action okay. shot of an action. That so this is the scene here. Rooftop. And fence lines. There's a bird. You can't see it on video, but there is a bird flying over. Okay. Well. But what I may do is just practice. Just stay on the fence on the roof. Okay. Just to make sure you know the shot. Too, when somebody's cutting grass, it's kind of muffled. Do I need to just yell? Real loud if you shoot, you say shit, and then I say, I cough because I'm sick. No, it ain't gonna muffle. It's a loud ambient noise like the lawnmower. Constantly. Do you want me to just crank the lawnmower and just uh, have it? Gonna, Can't see the bird from the video, but there is a bird. <gasps> and there actually was a bird on our reef right then. Probably need to keep it in the 60 to 70 foot uh, yard range. From that house, that house. With the Walmart pellet gun? That's yeah. probably about as far as this guy. Yeah, but who would pay that for a pellet gun? That's what, yeah, that's what you got. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, where is it though? Yeah, where is it though? Okay. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. This is the setup for backyard hunting adventures.